Thank you for tuning in once again to Gun Stuff and More Outdoor Adventures. This is Nathan. I, along with Sean, are putting up some videos on stuff we like. And so today I thought I'd talk about holsters. Specifically, holsters for a fat man. Um, I am a plus size model, we'll say, and not all holsters fit me like they do on TV. So I wanted to show you a couple things that I like. Um, so I got three holsters out here and uh, a couple different guns. And I bought these things for a couple different reasons, but I'll make this brief. Um, I have this first one here. This is a Phobus, F-O-B-U-S, not sure how it's pronounced, holster. It's an outside the belt. You can see there where this part would go on the inside. This part obviously goes on the outside. It's got a little notch to go over your belt to stay firmly in place. Um, it has a little spot here so you can flick it with your thumb. This part kind of is hinged. I bought this one specifically for guns that have things mounted on their rail. See how it's open down here? I wanted to be able to have a light or a laser or something. Um, and I also like that inside here, you can see there's a little plastic tip that holds the barrel in place so it doesn't slide around. Uh, it is a great, I actually use this one at the range quite a bit. Now, um, let me, this is uh, the Phobos. This other one is just a really simple Black Hawk Size 7, just has a little clip in its fabric. Um, that's pretty much all there is to that. Right hand draw. And then I have my newest one, which is a sticky holster, uh, medium 2. It has like a, almost like a neoprene exterior with a slicker kind of fabric-y interior. Uh, no clips, just, just the fabric, and that's it. And I'll tell you why... Each one of these I think is pretty awesome. So over here, move this over here, I have my new concealed carry. Just making sure everything's empty, nothing in here, nothing in here. Um, this is the PPS, the Walther PPS M2. That's the concealed carry single stack. I have, uh, again, showing that it's safe, nothing in the magazine. The, just a Glock 19 with a crimson trace on the bottom. And then up here a little further, I have, let me show it's safe. Uh, nothing in the magazine. Uh, Glock 34 with just a uh, little tack light on the, on the top. So, originally I had bought this large case for going to the range and using the big gun. However, once I got it, I realized it doesn't fit. So, this particular holster, not designed for the large, full-size Glock 34s. Um, however, I realized Glock 19 with a little crimson trace slides, boom, perfect. So typically when I go to the range, this is what I like to holster uh, my Glock 19 with. Uh, it draws pretty fast and it's nice. Um, Walther, ironically, it's too wide from barrel to trigger for it to clip in. So Glock 19 is the only one I could use that one on. Originally, his Black Hawk was to conceal carry a Glock 19. Um, it fits in there perfect. Walther fits in there even better, maybe a little bit too big. Um, obviously, the big one... It doesn't really fit. I mean, that's gonna look like, reminds me of something else. Anyway, moving on. Concealed carry. Concealed carry, if you use inside the belt, most guns, because I am, again, a plus size model, my belly pushes the gun out, which then pushes the barrel in to you know, my junk or my hip or something else that feels very uncomfortable. Walking around is fine, but sitting down was just painful. Uh, because it's clipped on one side, I either had to put it in the front. If I had larger pants, I could put it in the side, which what large guy wants to buy even larger pants, not very fun. Or if I put it in the back, I, it's a left-hand draw if I do that, and I, I'm not a lefty, so um, that was kind of out. So I was kind of struggling with that. Got the new Walther. This is my new concealed carry. You can see it's pretty thin, which makes it a lot more convenient to uh, put in the waistband. 
With the sticky holster, which it fits perfectly into, it's designed to stick to the waistband. So this one can be put in the front, the side, or the back, and still be right hand draw because it doesn't have a clip. It sticks remarkably well. Um, I am very impressed with this guy. Uh, when I have it in my waistband, I can sit down because I could adjust how it sits in the waistband and it sticks. This neoprene stuff against your belt, even if you just have the bottom edge, sticks very well. So I could have it sit a little bit higher in the waistband so when I sit down it doesn't cut into me if it's uh, in the front. Uh, I don't usually put them in the side just because they look funny. I think they print a lot more when they're in the side. Could just be me. You may have people out there, you guys may be yelling at my video saying, oh, you gotta get the leather ones. The leather ones are the best things known to man. What's wrong with you? Well, I don't have one, so shut up. I don't got money to be spinning around everywhere. So this is what I got and this is what I like. So listen, I can put it in the back of my pants, which I like too. Now, again, here, we'll, uh, we'll come up to a picture of me. I, I am a little plus sized. So when I stick these in my pants, you know, it's not, I could stick it right here. It's not in very far. My belly does push it out. Of course, I'm wearing a sweater. It doesn't print much, and it feels good. I go around, I can sit down. Everything is great, everything is dandy. There it is. And when I have it in, if I don't grab the case when I'm pulling it out, if I was just to draw the gun, it comes out very, very nicely. So, that's that. In the back, it does the same thing. Now again, not only do I have the beautiful genetics of having a little bit larger uh, padding, I also don't have any booty. So in the back is a little tough for me too because it tends to sag my pants down until eventually I'm walking around the back of my pants around my, my legs. So sometimes I will here if I'm gonna be sitting because that does feel nice also. Uh, but that's, that's kind of my review. For those of you that are larger gentlemen, who like to conceal carry but find it harder to find a holster that fits my recommendation for an inside the belt holster right now is the sticky I will have links to all three of these holsters in case you just love the other ones too which is fine uh, but this is the one I go with sticky holster is fantastic it fits all the smaller single stack style guns uh, from Glocks Walther's um, the shields all fit really good in this. Uh, my size here is the medium too. So, until next time, thanks for watching.